Hey folks, I'm Becky with Holy Smokes Photography. I am glad to have you here. Today we're going to be starting a series of my trip to Northern Idaho from June in 2022, so just last year. And this was a very exciting trip for me. It was right when all the flooding was happening in Yellowstone, so I encountered quite a bit of rain, but I saw a lot of wildlife and some beautiful sunsets and sunrises, and I just had a great time. So let's go ahead and get into my first episode of this series, and we're going to start off with a six and a half hour drive in about a minute and a half for you guys to northern Idaho from Boise, and it is just a beautiful drive, and so I had to make sure that you guys saw it. I do have to make a note on this. My trip started off a little bit delayed. I had a, um, I had a dog sitter set up to watch Jackson, my pup, and we got there to drop him off, and unfortunately it didn't work out, and so I had to find a last minute uh, backup plan, which was my brother, thank you very much. And so I got off on the road a little bit late and a little bit frazzled, but we still had a great time. So let's get into the drive there. All right, folks. So we are just about a quarter mile away from taking the turn to I-85 North, which is going to take us up through McCall and New Meadows and Cascade and just a beautiful countryside and we will just keep pushing through until we get to Habern State Park and it is going to be a beautiful green trip without any wildfires going on yet and I am just very excited so it's going to be pretty fun and it shouldn't rain at all over there. It should be pretty nice and cool weather. But we are just leaving Boise now and they're going to get up to the 90s this week so they're going to be hot and bothered. But we are heading out of town and I will check in with you later. Bye guys!
up in that Boise State. We're gonna make some food. I'm hungry. So we're gonna make a deli style tuna, deli style tuna salad sandwich that has some chips. So we are just about a quarter mile away from taking the turn to I-55 North, which is going to take us up through McCall and New Meadows and Cascade and just a beautiful countryside. And we will just keep pushing through until we get to Habermet. And I am just very excited. Just leaving Boise now. And they're gonna get up to the 90s this week. So they're gonna be hot and bothered, but we are heading out of town and I will check in with you later. Bye guys. trails that go down to the waterfront. We can see a dock over here and that little road that goes that way and another path down. So let's go this way first. It is why it's really mindful of going in. looking beautiful on the front right here. Water looks dirty. goes out or flooded out definitely flooded but we can fix that and go out on the dock and explore and continue to meander around that another trail that goes back up we just came all right so we are gonna head back up to the campsites um, I love it. The birds are so pretty. See it? 
Alright folks, so the deer is already gone, but we made it up to a neighboring campsite that is open, that looks out over the lake here. Let's see how beautiful their view is. And they've got a flower body right here. Look at that little flower right here. see this, but there is what I think is a badger in the water. You might be able to see him a little bit better. Yeah. You can see right in there. You can see him moving a little bit. Just a little bit of wood. Alright, let's head back towards camp. Showing you around because we keep getting distracted, which is fine. But I'll take tomorrow and the next day to explore too. Okay. For those of you wondering, this is my entire truck space. There's my towel that I just used right there, but not a lot of head space. Um, I might try and show you guys tonight as I get in and out because it's a little bit harder, but everything fits very nicely um, right now. So we get my fly rod and then everything scoots in and it just fits right in here and then it all just closes up. So super neat. Still haven't fixed the back hatch, but this broom handle works just fine. So I'm happy with it. So just cooking some delicious dinner, spaghettios, a classic for camping on my very quick and easy propane burner that sits right on a very small sensor and uh, gets things heated up very quickly. Look at that. Oh yeah. 